Welcome to Digital Asset News, the top stories in cryptocurrencies and digital assets, and break it down to bite-sized pieces. Uh, so today, I had actually invited Weston Nelson. He is the uh, head of business development or business intelligence over there at uh, Trade the Chain to help me understand exactly how to work uh, Trade the Chain for sentiment analysis. Because uh, we have technical analysis, we have fundamental analysis, now we have sentimental analysis. And uh, we had actually uh, recorded this on January 6th. It just got so busy with things. And then we had uh, CJ from Market Rebellion where he came in and we did what we call uh, the Trinity trading, where we take fun our technical analysis, sentiment analysis, and then fundamental analysis. And each one of us had our own role where Weston did the sentiment, uh, CJ did the technicals, and I did the fundamentals on the RSR token. And you can watch that video. I'll link this uh, at the very end. But uh, this one that I did with Weston was just like, like a warm up to kind of get me up to speed uh, with uh, Trade the Chain uh, because he was doing a lot of things, not just with, with the alerts for the SIG development, and, and he'll get into that, but he was doing a lot of things with um, the tweet volume and uh, how it all relates to uh, trading as far as uh, the sentiment analysis. And this one, when we took a look at it, it was actually Maker. And we saw this on January 6th. And uh, after we did it, it really didn't move too much. So I'm like, I'll just, you know, I'll, I'll get it tonight. And of course, I didn't do it because uh, all these things going on. So I wanted to put it out today. And uh, it actually was, was a pretty good trade. Uh, I'm not a trader, but uh, with these two guys uh, in my corner, I think I'm going to become somewhat of a trader. Now, again, I will always dollar cost average. I will always be an investor. And uh, I, I don't think anybody should do 100% trading, especially in cryptocurrency. That just seems ridiculous to me. But uh, if you want to just take like 5 or 10%, hey, why not? You know, uh, go ahead out there and gamble. I mean, that's what life's all about, right? So uh, I'm going to, we're going to walk through this and then we'll, uh, we'll finish up afterwards. So let's, let's jump in uh, with uh, me and Weston here. All right, everybody, and welcome back to the office. So uh, today, just to, just to reiterate some things that we had talked about as far as TTC, this is I brought in Weston Nelson. Weston is the uh, director of business intelligence and one of the uh, or the community managers right there. So when you sign up for TTC, you're going to uh, meet Weston as well as Alex. And the reason that I brought him on here was just to kind of go not a deep dive, but a, just a general overview of TTC and some of the winners that they have. Because to me, when I see the winners, they come through the Slack app through uh, TTC. And there was one recently within 24 hours, which went up 100% in under an hour. So I want Weston to talk about that. But the big thing, which is what I don't understand, is about the sentiment analysis. I know it's great, but how to pick the winners, that's what Weston is here for. So Weston, thanks for taking the time. And uh, let's just go over some things. And you can tell me uh, all your magic. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me on, Rob. I'm uh, super excited about it. You know, love watching all your content. And uh, we've been, yeah, cranking it out with the uh, alerts and especially the sentiment. So, so yeah, let's, let's jump right in. Let's jump right in. Let's take a look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen right quick. And then, bang, here we are. So actually, let me, let me back up. Because when you first start in, you're going to see this type of screen, which this is good to know. But I don't think this is like the big thing. Uh, I think the big thing is, is, is twofold. One is where the sentiment analysis is. And the next thing is, let me move this out the way, is these things called alerts. And what I've been telling people is that it's great to have on your computer, but through the Slack app, you get notifications. And t talk us through this recent one. Was it Cello? Cello? I always get it wrong. Yep. Uh, ticker C-E-L-O. Uh, uh, Cello. Cello. Cello, not sure how it's pronounced, uh, but yeah, C E L O. Um, and you make first first thing you make a good point. Um, you've got the alerts up there on your on the web app, right. but um, having it on the Slack is what's so critical because I get it real time. Yeah. On the you know, it, ding ding ding, and money sound comes in, and then I you know immediately can assess whether what to do or not. Um, so talk us through, so this, this thing came through January 4th, 8 37 PM Binance will list cello. So, yeah. from, so from there, what happened from there now, typically, you know, if I know something about a project, I'll, I'll, I'll throw some more money into it. I knew nothing about this other than I had heard of it, but knew nothing about it, but I do know there's the Binance effect. Um, you get a Binance listing. 
it's probably probably going to be a good one. So um, alert came through. I entered. I was in one minute. Well, I was in uh, literally at the same time the alert came through within a minute. Okay. And then I entered again four minutes later. Um, and that would be, yeah, on your screen there. Uh, yeah, it was a, it was a dollar fifty eight at around <laughs> eight twenty nine. So and and this yeah. one came out around eight thirty seven. So maybe maybe you might you might have gone to like a dollar sixty two, dollar sixty four, and then within an hour it did this, right? Yep, exactly. Yeah. So within, uh, I exited forty. I want to say forty four minutes um, after entering because I saw a slight tick down, and I was just like, you know, I'm gonna get out of here. Hundred percent in an hour is pretty good. Uh, for me, uh, <laughs> for anybody, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Right. For anyone. That's awesome. It, it literally paid, you know, so in dollar terms covered the entire year of a subscription to trade the chain, uh, right. this one alert in an hour. Yeah. Um, so, and now, now just to, just to, just to preface this, of course, Binance doesn't list everything all the time. Coinbase doesn't list everything all the time, but it seems like you guys are kind of being alerted this a lot faster than like a normal Joe like me would actually get it because I would never have known this stuff. Yeah, it's well, it's because it's tied into you know the technology um, that we've got linked up with with kind of the whole package and everything, where it's getting scraping the web for alerts and, and listings, mergers, acquisitions, etc. Important details. Um, but yeah, if you're not if you don't have some sort of alert system set up, and especially since your phone. You know, you won't hear about it until an hour later, two hours later, maybe the next day, and then you miss all that all that positive price action. Yeah, I mean, it's it's almost unfair because this this stuff that that you guys have stuck into with the tie, Josh Frank, and that and that group is the same one that the institutions use. So I kind of feel like, well, how's the average guy? The average guy is going to get in around. They're going to see a pump and like, okay, I mean, in an hour, yeah, right. But they're going to see it went up. They're going to start to buy around here. They're going to get yep. stuck in these little patterns. But what's great is that you get here to there and you're out. I think that, that there's two things. One, the technology is great. And second, it's great to have discipline like you have to actually get out. Because some people, <laughs> self-included, are like, you know what? I'll ride to the forever. And here we go. Yeah. Well, and, you know, in certain cases, um, every case is dependent because, like, the graph, you know, you, you could have played that with the graph, too. But the graph, I just held because I knew that was... I knew the fundamentals so strong that I knew that was going to just keep soaring. Um, that's ticker GRT. We got an alert on that a couple of weeks ago. Um, yeah. But, but yeah, it's a good point. You know, sometimes you get in, if you, you know, bird in the hand, take your, take your, take your profits and get out. Um, especially if you don't know something about the project, like in this case. Yeah. So all good points. Thanks, Wes. And then the last thing, cause like those are like the, the, the no brainers to me. Walk us through, the sentiment analysis, because to me, I feel like what really drives this market is news, not always fundamentals. That's just how it is. And uh, I just want to know, like, how you you use this uh, the, the sentiment analysis to pick the winners. So walk me through that. Yeah. So um, first, I'd say I I share I share your sentiment. No uh, <laughs> pun, pun, pun intended. But news n- news does drive. Uh, Crypto, I think, you know, we, there, there are no fundamentals. There's no um, price to earnings. There's no earnings per share. There, you know, right? But what are we going to go off of? Um, you can use charts. That's effective. You can use fundamental analysis. That's effective. But then um, kind of only makes sense with crypto. There's this new way to analyze uh, performance, which is sentiment. So um, do you do, like clear understanding as far as what, what, this is doing or how it's coming up with it? Or do you want to kind of just go through how, like I, I would use it to say, I think this is going to be a good one. Just go through it because I, cause like I, a lot of people on, on the, on the channel, they, they understand that for the most part, that first of all, it's, it's scraping the web. It gets all the, the news articles and puts it in here. But then with TTC trade the chain, they're one of four cryptocurrency companies that has a direct API into Twitter. So they are taking billions of tweets and condensing them into a sentiment analysis. And I think that's where you can't get that pretty much anything else anywhere else unless you're an institution. So I, I can, as an individual, uh, well, I've, and I have been beating quantitative hedge funds as an individual sitting at my computer. Um, so I think it just goes. To, I mean, that speaks volumes, right? Right there, you know, like, right. 
with the so technologies. Sh- yeah. So show us like, like out of, out of this screen and I can s- scroll up or down, show yeah. us how you would pick a winner here. So first things first, um, you can customize the columns, however you like them. And that's in the upper left. Um, and, as well, as well as filter your favorites and you know, keep an eye on. Yeah. Um, I like to really, so the, I have the MBT ratio always up market dominance always up. And then, um, I'll have one of the, you know, change to BTC typically up you, uh, depending on what I'm looking at, but let's say like for, 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 uh, oh, and then, um, average trading volume, uh, as well. But like, like, let's say maybe just click the one hour, 24 hour BTC, just to give you an idea, you know, is it like, is it gaining strength to the, uh, the king or, or, or not? Gotcha. Okay. So let's, let me close that. So now we got a lot more data here to, to, to shift through. So tell me. Yep. So what are we doing? Exactly. At? So a um, couple ways to start is that one hour price projection you see in the middle there, uh, middle right, um, over right there. I would click that. And what that's going to get, so now, now you just filter the um, columns to essentially from the highest, lowest of the total coins that we have sentiment data on you know, okay. the range over the next hour, the projected range. Um, so that looks, <laughs> that looks pretty good. Um, now downside, but uh, so the first thing, that's what I would look at, right? You know, w- what are we looking at as far as range goes? Right. Um, so what is this, what is this range right here? So negative three to 15, 16%. Is that, they're, they're saying that within an hour, it's going to do one of these things? So what that means specifically is that, well, well, more essentially, more or less, yes. But uh, more specifically, what it means is that there is a ninety percent confident, you know, ninety percent confidence intervals based on data that within the next hour, the range of the price is likely to be from there minus three fifty two mm-hmm. to positive. And now it just switched; it updates, you know, every five minutes rolling time. Yeah. Um, so yeah, negative four and thirteen. So this would probably yeah. be. A, this, so what else? So I get that. So what else are you looking at here? Long term. This is the mean. I should add too. Okay, the that's one. the mean. Got it. So I. So I'm looking at this. I don't know. I remember Verge from the, back in the day. I would never have bought it. But if I'm looking at this, I'm like, ooh, that looks pretty good. Yeah. Right. Um, and if you are, if you, if you knew something about it too fundamentally, there's some big stuff going on which can help you. But let's let's stay out of that for now. Okay. Just looking at the sentiment. Um, so after I see that, I would go over to the right and check out um, trading volume. Let's see. Whoa, the second one. we have three hundred and sixty nine point five percent, and right away my interest is peaked. Okay, so what's going on? Right, um, something, something's happening. So we're going to go into more detail over at uh, danteachescrypto.com. And then if you are looking to sign up or trade the chain, just so you know, uh, there is a, it's, it's a 14 day, no questions asked, money back guarantee. And just check it out. And if it works for you, like what Weston was just talking about, he just made one trade and trade, and it, uh, you know, that was his entire uh, cost for the year. So yeah. there is a link in the description, go ahead and click on that. And then uh, actually once they go into the community, all this training will be available there. I'm gonna do some more on Dan Teaches crypto.com but uh i just want to get everybody like a general overview this would be something to, to look into and uh that's yeah. all i want to I, I don't want to go in too much depth because there's a lot of different things going on weston anything anything else that we need to know right now if you're going to be trading crypto you really need to have an edge is the bottom line um you know you're, you're playing against people who are very sharp have a lot of tools a lot of resources um so i you know I like your strategy of just dollar cost averaging, you know, being an investor. I think that's wise. If you want to get in the game of trading, you have to have an edge. You have to have tools. You have to be, and that's what Trade the Chain provides, you know, with the alerts and the sentiment analysis. And, and like you said, this is, the sentiment is where the power is. That's, that's where I've made the most money, but it's a little, you know, a little, little bit of a learning curve, but anybody can do it. Um, you just got to put in, put in a little time. And, um, but the SIG devs, yeah, you know. easy enough. All right. Yeah. Gotcha. 
Well, anyhow, Wesson, thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. And All right, so that's it. So what we did is we actually went into more details um, with Weston, and I put that over there at danteachescrypto.com. Uh, danteachescrypto.com, where just uh, there's a link in the description, and he just goes over exactly TTC and how it all works. But again, if you want to take a look at it, uh, trade the chain, there's a 14 day money back guarantee. Go ahead and check that out. But uh, I can see definitely where the value is, especially with what's going on with the markets. This isn't a, a regular traditional market. Everything is moved by news. News moves so much and so fast and everything happens in a split second. Uh, just like Wesson says, I mean, you really do need an advantage. And uh, I think this is one of those things that uh, can put you there. All right, so uh, that is it for today. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you uh, <laughs> go ahead and check out the, uh, the links in the description and that is it. So thanks again. See you on the next one.